Good morning. It is Monday here in Southern California, and I just thought I would take you along for a little vlog today. Take you through my day, show you kind of what my average Monday is like these days, and so I hope you enjoy. So we're starting off with the first thing that I do before I go out for my walk is take all my vitamins. So as you can see, I have lots of liquids and chewables. I have a hard time swallowing vitamins. So this is the source of life. And then I have my B12, biotin. This is a B complex. And this is nettle, what I take for my allergies. And these gummies are lutein, vitamin C, and then I have my liquid calcium, magnesium, vitamin D. Cheers. <laughs> all right, now that I've taken all my vitamins and drink, <laughs> well, I drink at least 24 ounces of water, sometimes a little bit more. Um, I feel very well hydrated at the moment and not quite ready for coffee. That's a good thing because it's time to go for a walk. All right, I have sunscreen on on my face today. I use the Australian Gold Botanical 50 Tinted Face. This is medium tan because I have a little bit of sunless tanner on. And then on my neck, chest, arms, everything that is showing and exposed, I used the Super Goop Play. This is SPF 50 PA++++ and it has vitamin C antioxidant body mist. So I'm really loving it. It doesn't make your skin um, look white or dull. It gives a nice little bit of a glow. And then on my lips, you saw me putting on some lip gloss. You're like, come on, Shirley. It is SPF. This is the Color Science Lip Shine. I got this last summer and I've used it nearly every time I go for a walk and I am getting to the bottom of it, but the color is champagne. And so I like to know that I'm just fully covered. So now we're gonna put on some sunglasses so that we protect our eyes and so I can see, because, you know, I wear contacts normally. Show you some of our beautiful flowers and our forever green grass. Yes, I'll tell you my secrets afterwards. <laughs> It is a beautiful day out, and thankfully it's still a little cool. It's going to be in the 90s again today. Right now we have a nice little breeze, so I can get my hill done while it's still cool. <laughs> All right, here we go. begins the hardest part of the whole climb. <gasps> we can do this. getting a little scary so we need some of that rain and those of you in the Midwest <sighs> I love all the various landscaping around my very desert escape right here and you've got lots of variety plantings and beautiful flowers of course, lots of gophers. <laughs> all right, now it's truly all downhill from here. <laughs> Easiest part of the walk, but also one of the most beautiful views on a real clear day. I love this section because there's lots of trees and shade. <laughs> all right, I have to go down another path. It was a little noisy back there, so I thought I'd pop back on here. I've 
the golf course, being on a golf course, it's busy with lots of mowing and things, but I do love all of these paths. I walk along, say hello to neighbors, meet sweet little doggies. You know, I'm missing mine right now, but it's nice to be able to see and pet other people's doggies, so. All right, we are on trail number two. This one's a little shorter, but go by the pickleball and tennis ball courts and the clubhouse. There's a beautiful clubhouse. Isn't that just so pretty? We'll be coming up here later for some music practice. I mentioned I was going to tell you what's the deal with her grass. <laughs> we have artificial grass and very, very drought tolerant plants. And we're so glad we did this because it was grass. Just a full, the whole yard, the whole yard was all grass and gopher holes and it looked terrible anyway. But <laughs> now we have grass that doesn't need to be watered. Whew. Okay, so that was just a little under 30 minutes. I try to go between 25 and 30 minutes, but you know, if it's a little less, it's okay. <laughs> so now I need some water. Now, usually on cooler days, I will grab my coffee and sit and drink it and it doesn't feel too hot, but on these warm days when I'm still really warm, usually I will go shower and then come back, get my coffee and my breakfast. So that's what I'm gonna do. We'll be back for some coffee. Okay, it's time for some energy and my favorite time of the day, coffee. <laughs> still using my favorite super creamer. This has MCT oil and vanilla is absolutely my favorite. I've tried all the flavors. This is still my favorite. It has zero grams of sugar. I do add a little bit of half and half also. And yes, this is about a Shirley size morning coffee cup. <laughs> and then I'm happy to report these are back in stock. Some of you had sent me a message saying you heard these were discontinued. No, there was just a problem with production, but they're back. You can go to their website. I'll leave a link down below or um, they are carried in grocery stores. This is the chocolate chip cookie dough. This is my husband's current favorite and I actually really like it too. It's a nice change of pace. So I eat a half of this every morning with my coffee. This is a, a multi-step process here because our frother, you can't get too much in your cup or else it will overflow. <laughs> and I am at the end of this. Let's see if we have enough. We might have enough. All right, the magic of froth coffee. So here I stand with my coffee. Doesn't that look delicious? Mm. Mm -hmm. Give myself a little froth mustache and these yummy bars. Mm. So good. Mm. So Mondays, I used to use as a filming day. And occasionally, I may still do that depending on how my Sunday goes. But because I work my other job on Sundays, as most of you know, my husband's a pastor, I'm a worship leader, pianist, do our church website. I have lots to do on Sundays. So by the time Monday rolls around, I'm kind of a little tired and not quite so chipper. So. I've decided that Monday is a good kind of catch up day, planning day. And then I also, right now, I'm currently playing the piano for a choral group in our community. So I have that later this afternoon. I'll take you along for that. So it's kind of a busy day, but it's not, I'm not gonna be doing any filming, but I am gonna be working because as a beauty YouTuber, there's always something I'm testing out. So today, I am testing for the second time this kind of topical tan glow solution. I'll just call it that. 
<laughs> I've used it once before. I wanted to try it one more time working on my sunless tanner video. So today I'm going to be rounding up some things. You might see me making notes later on today. I also, on my face, all I have is this tinted moisturizer by Beauty Counter. I actually have a whole video coming about that, so I'm not going to talk about it, but I'm going to use it in a slightly different way today with maybe a little foundation over it. Because I do have to go out and about later this afternoon, I will do some makeup. Also, I have a couple of other products that were sent to me in PR. I will be sharing those with you. I'm actually thinking I'm going to do my nails today in preparation for some filming I'm going to do tomorrow. I have that whole box of Sigma goodies. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw an amazing box of PR from them. I have some goodies from Revlon, Emile Cordon, and all of that is um, sitting on my beauty table and my beauty table is a disaster. <laughs> so we're gonna be doing a little bit of that. I also use Mondays to catch up on replies to your comments. I really feel terrible. I have fallen way behind the eight ball. I do read them all and what happens is sometimes I won't even put a heart there to let you know I've read it because I wanna go back and respond and then Days go by, sometimes weeks, and I have to scroll through and find all the comments I haven't replied to. So I'm gonna finish my coffee and my breakfast, and then I think we're gonna tackle our nails next. All right, as is typical on a Monday, my plans change all the time. So I thought, well, while I finish my cup of coffee, let's go ahead and throw on a quick face of makeup, then we'll do our nails. So I have quite a few things that I'm testing out and some new things that I've not yet tested. So I'll just kind of pop in and out here. This isn't really gonna be a full on tutorial or review of anything, but I'll just kind of show some new stuff that I've got here on my beauty table and we'll just put on a quick look today. I have several products from Kiko that I am just loving and they are so funny. I don't know if they just do special edition packaging or what, but it's like I'll buy something and use it and be about ready to show you and then it'll be gone from Ulta's website and sometimes even gone from their website. So I don't think these are still available, but this is what I'm going to use today because I just think these are so good. So this is a face and eye palette. Look how beautiful. And my purpose in showing you this is to be on the lookout for Kiko products in the future because I have found everything that I've tried so far has been really good quality. And this was my first trial of their eyeshadows. Look at how pretty. So this is what I'm going to use today because I've got a little pink and some green and this is a real unique shade. And the color scheme on this one is Flight of the Butterfly. You can see it's got that embossed rose or flower. Just love their attention to detail. So let's do something quick here. In this fun little bag are some goodies from Revlon. It's the Lauren Gray collection, but the eyeshadow palette came damaged. So they're sending me a new one, so I'm not even gonna show you that. It got all, one of the shadows was completely crushed and ruined pretty much all of the other shades. But the other items in here are, we might use two of these. So. This is a liner and it says it's the Line Creator Longwear Liquid on one end and the Coal Pencil on the other. So I think I'm gonna try that today, just add a little definition. And then their new Big Bad Lash, I've heard some mm, mixed reviews on that. 
and then uh, one of their matte light crayons. And it has a special edition packaging on the lid, but this is one of their colors that I actually already own. So I'm not gonna open this one, but it's Tread Lightly. Okay, so here is the pencil, twist up pencil on one end. It says it's a coal, which usually means it's very smudgeable. Smudgeable, is that a word? <laughs> we'll just say that it is. Um, let's see here. Yeah, it does smudge. All right, that'll be interesting. I don't think that's what I'm gonna use today. Oh, let's see if I can, oh. Oh, one of these liquid liners, ooh. Okay, I haven't used one of these in a long time. But it, whoa, super fine tip there. Let's see, very, very black. Okay, nothing on the packaging says whether it's waterproof or not. It just says long wear. <laughs> So, all right, we'll give this a shot. Why not, right? That's what Mondays are for. All right, I'm gonna just see if I can keep this real close to the lashes. I don't want anything too dramatic today. Wedge shape just to lift the outer corner. All right, that was pretty easy. And the trick with these liners, I always get the liner, yes on my lashes. And then if it dries before you do mascara, it can make the lashes get all clumpy. So just a little tip, make sure you clean off your lashes if you're using one of those liners. All right, first impression, it's a different sort of formula than I've used before. Typically, these types of liners, the product is really watery and you know it kind of like spreads super fast this has a slight little bit kind of a gel in there so we'll see how this wears today but that was actually one of the easiest to put on that i've used in a long time all right let's clean up under the eyes Let's open up another bag of goodies. It says this bag contains magic. Emile Corden. They sent me three of their new classic lip balms. And this is different packaging. I think it's a different formula than their previous. Let me show you their previous ones were in jars like this, which I actually prefer this packaging, but it's okay. I understand. <laughs> Um, but this is a very luxurious brand. They're based out of New York. And so they sent me three of these lip balms and this is Canel. And in smelling the three, I'll show you the three, but it really doesn't have much color. And this one is by the smell, I'm gonna say like a caramel, mm like a caramel cream or caramel, maybe macadamia or pistachio. There's some kind of nut in there. Oh, really good. Um, these do feel really nice on the lips. Let's just put a little bit of that on while we finish the rest of the face. Let me show you the other two. Here's Lisa. And each one of these has a different scent. I should have looked up the scent so I can tell you what they say they're supposed to be. Maybe I'll put it on the screen. I actually really like Lisa as well. Kind of a sweet, maybe a little more on the vanilla side. This is gonna be interesting. You're gonna see <laughs> my nose is like way off. And then the third one is Rose Petal, which I was like, oh, I'm not a rose scented girl, but I do love roses. But ironically, and maybe it's just because I have one on my lips, but even when they first sent this, this was like such a really, really light fragrance that I could hardly smell it. So really luxurious feeling on the lips for sure. So keep testing those out. I have this brand holds a special place in my heart because they were one of the first companies to ever send me product without any obligation to review. And I was like, thank you. So. I will always be happy to try out anything they send my way. So 
You know what? I've got some powder products that I want to try out. So let's go ahead and powder another beauty counter product that I just recently tried for the first time. Again, you'll see that. I use that as my powder today. So I used the new L'Oreal Infallible Bronzer and this is supposed to be 24 hour wear. I do feel like it stays. I was in a quandary of what shade to get and I ended up with 350 Medium. And you can see I used it as a contour because I do feel like it's a cooler kind of a little hint of gray tone in there. So. That's why I didn't use it as a true bronzer, but I have some other products here. <laughs> so let's go in next to this little box here. So I transferred all of my Sigma, my new Sigma products into here. So um, I really want to try, they sent me two face palettes. And it has been a while. I have, I think I have one of the original blush palettes. This is the Cor de Rosa blush palette. I have the corresponding eyeshadow palette to this, but I've always wanted to try the blushes and they were so sweet to send me this. Look at those tones. Oh my goodness. Oh, so pretty. So I haven't even swatched these yet. Okay. It looks like two of the blushes, Senorita and Bronze Star. These two have some shimmer. Oh, those are pretty. All right, so those two have some shimmer, but the other four do not. All right, let's do a combination of these two. Ooh, it's a little bit, a little bit soft in the pan. Not tons of powder kick up, but there is a little bit, so. Very pigmented. Ooh, pretty. All right, and then, we have their highlighter palette. This, oh, there we go. <laughs> Don't wanna blind you. It says Glow Kissed Highlight Palette. The inside looks just like the box. And then again, attention to detail. Love that. Okay, look at those <laughs> highlighters. All right, since I have a little bit of a tan, let's go in with this one first. All right, wow. One touch of the brush. Can always add more, right? It's a little harder to take away. So well, that's pretty. Actually, can I don't see I use this mirror to get up close. Close and personal. Eh, there might be a little bit tiny little like micro shimmer in there, but no chunky glitter particles. All right now I might use one of these other ones as my inner corner highlight. Let's go a little crazy, shall we? Let's go with this lightest one here first. Wow, so buttery. Okay, so this is, has a, just a touch of a gold tone to it. That worked in really well. All right, let's use the Sigma E30. Have a little more of that, bring that onto the lid. a fun color here. I don't have any lip liner on, but this came in my boxy charm box this month and it's V Cosmetics. Cosmetic? I don't know. We've got backwards letters and all kinds of crazy stuff, but it says it's a liquid velvet lipstick and this shade is bubbly. Hmm, maybe this will make us feel bubbly. And it says liquid velvet, so I don't know. Ooh. Um, I think I need a lip liner. <laughs> this is gonna be a little tricky here. 
Whoa, that is a lot of color. It's a pretty color though. I thought it was gonna end up being like bright, almost fluorescent pink, but um, actually it's not too bad. Some of you have asked what kind of makeup I wear around the house. Well, this is usually what happens. I'll throw on some crazy lip color because I wanna test it out and I'm not going anywhere right now. So it's the perfect opportunity throw on something I normally wouldn't wear, but actually, and you know, I've been drinking coffee. I haven't even brushed my teeth and it's not making my teeth look yellow. So that's a bonus. All right, we'll see. It is drying down. Uh, we'll see, there's still a little bit of transfer. We'll let it sit there for a minute. Okay, I'm gonna go do something real quick with my hair. I know some of you are like, don't you just leave it like that? Well, because I have to go somewhere today, that's one reason why I will actually do something. But um, if I don't put stuff in my hair and just let my bangs just kind of fall, then I find through the day I'm constantly moving them out of my way. And I just like to not even bother with my hair the rest of the day. So. That's my reasoning for fixing my hair. So I'm gonna go do that real quick. And then we're going to take a look at the disaster that my makeup table is right now. Okay, hair is done. And while I was doing my hair, I was also experimenting to see how well that eyeliner stayed on. And whoa, Nelly, is it waterproof. So I washed my hands. I mean, all of the blush swatches are gone, but I wanted to show you that. Even the pencil that had been smudged out is still there. <laughs> so now I'm gonna see what I can do with my Huggies wipe just to see if I can scrub the rest of it off. Look at how stubborn that is. Oh my goodness. So that's a good sign. Okay, I'm going to now clean up my beauty table before I leave this room because it's a disaster. So I'm gonna flip the camera around in a moment, show you what I'm dealing with get that cleaned up. I still need to do my nails today because I have some filming to do tomorrow and I want my nails freshly done. You know, from a distance, they don't look too bad, but up close, I've got lots of chips on them from piano practicing. My nails have grown out. They need to be trimmed. And then I do have piano practicing to do. I've got comment replying to do and I really need to switch out my seasonal makeup. I can't believe it's time to do that again. So let's get busy. I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you what I have here on my desk. This is what we're dealing with. Oh my goodness. Yes, it's a little crazy. So obviously some of this stuff is what I use today. Um, this is my new mirror. A lot of people ask me about what kind of mirror I'm using. This is a new one for me. This is the Ricky Loves Ricky. And let's see if I can show you this without blinding you. It has multiple settings of light. There is a magnet um, attachment here for a 10 times mirror or a cell phone holder. And it has multiple bright settings. And I also have an attachment on the back, which allows me to hook this onto a mirror. So I took this to travel when I went to go see my parents and it worked great. So, okay, um, you might be asking yourself, Shirley, I thought we were clearing off the desk. Well, I did. And then I started going through drawers because I need to pull out my seasonal makeup and then I really got started tossing things. I have two bags going. I have a huge bag of giveaways. And so this is what we've got right now. I have one more box to go through. These are um, blushes and bronzers. If you saw my last seasonal switch out, you'll know what I'm talking about, but we need to pause and go get some lunch. So I'm going to leave this for the moment. Okay, we're back in the kitchen. <laughs> I thought I would show you what I'm eating for lunch today. On Mondays, because I have practice right during the dinner hour, I'm trying to eat lunch a little bit later. I'm eating a little bigger lunch and then I bring like a protein bar 
or a beef stick or something with me or eat right before practice just to get me through. So over there on the counter is what I'm gonna be fixing. I'm doing a salad with avocado, mandarin oranges, and pecans and sesame miso dressing. It's wonderful. Well, let's get started fixing it. dressing is so delicious and it's not a gazillion calories which is really nice <laughs> it's by lighthouse and for me this salad has to have some kind of nuts and my favorite are cinnamon pecans go there is my dinner sized salad <laughs> I'm really hungry I think I can finish it on Mondays I typically like to try and do a little more fruits and vegetables just to kind of make up for not eating so well over the weekend so Mondays are my a little bit extra healthy day just finished lunch and I'm checking out how that lipstick lasted lasted pretty well through eating, I still have a little bit. I'm gonna add some gloss. This is just Maybelline, the Lifter Gloss. I got a new color, what is it? It's brass, but it looks kind of pink to me. All right, now I'm sitting at the island in my kitchen because I thought before I go back to finish my project in my beauty room, I'm gonna go ahead and do my nails now. My schedule has been changed a little bit. In about an hour and 10 minutes or so, I have to head, well, about an hour, I have to head over to our clubhouse and I am getting ready for a concert. I am playing for a singing group in our community and we have two more rehearsals, one tonight, one next week, and then the concert is Memorial Day weekend. So today though, I need to go over early to, they are gonna fix the spotlights because where, where they're at right now, um, they shine directly into my eyes while I'm trying to play the piano. That's just, it doesn't work. So the director said, hey, can you run over at 3.30 today? They're gonna fix them. I said, okay, so I'm gonna do that and then I'll come back home and run through my music and then be back over there about 4.45. So I thought now is the perfect time to just take a moment, do my nails so that they're all ready for tomorrow. And I need to trim my nails anyway to play. So they don't look very long, but when I touch the top of my fingers, I can feel my nails. And for real intensive piano, you just can't have that clicking on the keys. So I'm taking off the fingernail polish and then I'll show you this new nail set that we're gonna try out today. And for those of you who struggle to get nail polish off, this is the best. This is the Qtex brand. You need the brand name, not the generic, and it's the ultra powerful. This takes off your fingernail polish so fast. I always have base coat, two coats of polish color, and a top coat, and I mean, it makes quick work of that. Okay, so the nails that we're gonna try today, this is Igloo Spa, and it says volume gel nail strips. Thicker volume strips, no wrinkle, no LED lamp required. There's 30 gel nail strips. They sent me two um, colors, so since I just had pink on, I think I'm gonna go with more of this neutral shade. It's called Champagne and Champagne Glow. So let's take a look at these. All right, so we have a little kit here. Looks like an alcohol prep pad and a nail file. Yes, here is what these look like. Okay, so I'm not supposed to expose these to too much light before we put them on because they cure with natural light. So I'm going to quickly get these going. 
So I've got to run the alcohol pad over my fingernails and do a quick trim and then we'll get to application. Okay, I went through and pushed all of my cuticles down. And now let's just double check the instructions. I have watched tutorial online, but let's just see here. Okay. Oh, we've got some that have a gold line. So these have a gold line on them and then these are plain. So I guess it kind of depends on what fits your finger. Okay, so this is always the trickiest part is finding the right size <laughs> for each finger. <laughs> and it looks like you can do them either way, depending on what size and shape your nail bed is. I think I'm gonna try this one here. All right, here we go. Pinky first. Now they say you do not want to stretch these. That is the difference between these and lots of the others I have tried. Looks like I already got that one off. A little crazy. It's not exactly straight, but it's good enough for our first one. That's why we start with the pinkies. All right, let's try the next one. And I'm gonna try one with the gold line down here. It looks like they're probably meant to go this way, but my nails are not that long. So I'm gonna try, let's try this one. I always say if you're between sizes to go with the smaller one. These do seem, you can feel that they are thicker than the Dashing Diva or any of the other nail strips I've tried. Okay, my nails are all done. And I have to say for my first time using them, they were really easy to apply. My right hand, which is always harder for me because I am right-handed, so you know, it's always harder to cut with your left hand. Also, my right hand nails are slightly shorter, but I was still able to cleanly file off the edge and they, I mean, they feel firm, secure on the nails, and I have to say I'm quite impressed. There's no bubbling, there's no wrinkling or anything. So, so far they are as good as advertised. I did quickly put them back in here and I did notice as I was getting closer to the end that the gel was starting to get a little bit firmer. So you definitely wanna keep minimal exposure to natural light as you're putting them on and then you need to store them in the darkness any of the extra strips. So I'll keep you all posted on how long they wear, but now I am back to the, going back to the beauty room to see if I can get a little more organization done and clean out, run to the clubhouse, I'll be back and then I'll check back in with you. All right, here's the progress so far. I've actually gone through now all of the blushes, the bronzers, these are the summer shades that I need to put back in my drawers. I've gone through, I've pulled out my winter shades and I have put away a bunch of eyeshadow palettes and winter shades of foundation. So we've made good progress, but I have to stop again. So it's time for me now to go rehearse with the choral group that I am playing for. So I am going to have to stop right now. I'm hoping that my plan tonight after the choral practice is to come back in here and get everything back in the drawers so that tomorrow I am ready to film the videos that I need to film. So that's kind of a little snippet of today. We didn't get everything accomplished that I wanted to, of course. The other thing that I will be doing this evening, which I probably won't film, but after practice, I will also be responding to comments, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, all of that. So. Usually my Mondays are a very long day and I'm usually not kind of closing up the computer until 10.30 or 11 o'clock at night. So it's a long day, but I love it. And I will take you along for a little brief 
time at the clubhouse, I'm not sure how much I will actually film of the practice because I never want to infringe on people's privacy. So, but I'll take you along so you can at least see the clubhouse a little bit and where I'll be playing. I just ate the other half of my Pro Max bar that I had for breakfast. That's kind of my dinner. I'm not super hungry, which is a good thing. That salad really tied me over, but I know if I don't eat something now, I'm going to be starving. So I have my water in tow and now it's time to go into the clubhouse.